Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So uh, the first card that I'm going to be drawing is the gift card. So it looks like some kind of gift, some kind of present coming in for you. Uh, uh, something unexpected. Uh, maybe something, uh, you know, that really lifts your spirit. So you, you weren't expecting this particular thing and it brings a lot of change in your life. Uh, you've got uh, the orange color, so this is uh, to do with your um, sacral chakra, and this is about confidence and developing your confidence, uh, you know, and working on that, really, and maybe that's what you're doing right now at the moment. You've got the shadow card over here, so you are leaving behind a lot of difficulties, maybe leaving behind the ghosts of the past, and you are moving on with that shadow card. So, you know, things that have been haunting you, uh, you know, you're letting go of it, you're working on your confidence, um, and you're trying to, uh, you know, move on from whatever those problems were. You're ending a cycle, you can see the end of the moon there. Maybe that person that you were dealing with was very controlling, you've got a little devil over there, uh, so it looks like, you know, uh, the, manipula the person that manipulated you a lot, you're leaving it behind, uh, that situation, and you're moving on. And you're taking charge of that, you've got a lion card of here, being back in your own element, and being back in control, and having overcome a lot of difficulties as well. So in the past, you've got the puppet over here, so you can see you were very manipulated, uh, very controlled. And now that you are moving away from it, that's a really good place to be. So whatever, uh, whoever was manipulating you and trying to, uh, um, you know, cause, um, cause a lot of grief in your life, really, you are moving away from it. You've got the playing cards over here, so there might have been some kind of legal decision. You've got the king of swords immediately there, so or king of spades. So it looks like you came through a, a legal battle as well uh, with this person who was manipulating you. Uh, so you've been dealing with that. So some kind of judgment came in. And it looks like, you know, that legal decision has brought an end to the situation. You're getting your power back again with that lion card and you are moving on. So it looks like maybe this decision went in your favor and it's given you the power back again. So you've been... Uh, you know, you've got the fire card coming in over here. There's still some problems or difficulties, some hoops to jump through uh, that you will have to deal with sorting out uh, through problems, but you will be able to conquer it. And it looks like, you know, you've got the shoes card over here. This is also a card about moving on. But this is also a card about improving your status in life. So there could be a payout from this particular legal situation that you're dealing with uh, that gives you some kind of financial independence. Or you could even be starting a new job. You could be moving on, uh, you know, that way uh, and, you know, improving your status in life life as well. So things are starting to look up for you. You have come to terms with things. Uh, you're getting your power back and you're able to move on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Parrot Tarot. Now this is quite a pretty deck as well. Um, I put it in the description box so please have a look. It's a very unusual deck. So at the bottom of the deck, there's a truce over here. So, you know, uh, whatever problems you've been going through with this particular person that you're dealing with, uh, it looks like your uh, compromise is being called for at this particular moment. Um, you know, you're also withdrawing a bit from the world to come up with a new strategy. So you might have been dealing with some legal issues as well because there are the swords cards uh, and, you know, you've come to come some kind of uh, agreement uh, with this particular person. You're also coming up with a new strategy on how to deal with it. So you've gone through a lot of heartache uh, and, you know, uh, maybe even going through a bit of stress illness as well with the Four of Swords. It's uh, withdrawing from the world to recover your strength, recover, you know, uh, your mental clarity as well and uh, get your confidence back as well. Uh, and also coming up with new uh, legal strategies, uh, maybe logical legal strategies on how to deal with this particular situation. So that's the energies around you at the moment. So what's happening with you? You've got the Queen of Cups and the Ruin. So the Ruin card, which is the Ten of Swords. So the Queen of Cups is talking about, you know, pe the Queen of Cups appears when you're very, very upset about a particular situation and you're crying a lot about it. You're feeling very lonely, very isolated and, uh, you know, as though there's no support as well for you. Uh, and you might be deliberately isolating yourself as well from everybody else because 
because you're trying to get to grips with the situation. You've gone through a period where there's, uh, you know, a ruin. The Ten of Swords is about losing everything, really, and, um, you know, having gone through a very, very dramatic situation, a life-changing situation, and now needing to walk away from it. So whatever that relationship is, it ended completely. There was a lot of drama in it, but it is now ended, and now it's a new chapter in your life, and you will be moving on from it. You've got the Prince of Cups over here. So it looks like there may have been some kind of apology that came your way with that Prince of Cups over there. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, this is helping you move on. Maybe um, this could even be an offer that came in for you. But generally in this kind of situation, there might have been uh, some kind of apology that came in for you in, in this last year or so. You may have even been dealing with a water sign person. So you could have been dealing with a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces uh, energy as well in this uh, last year. You've got the Prince of Discs over here, so you are now focusing all your attentions on your work and moving on and, you know, getting that job done. So you are trying to, uh, you know, overcome the situation by getting on top of your work scenario and you are focused on your work. So on your mind, you're hoping or you're thinking a lot about success and you're waiting for some money to come in. With the six of discs, maybe, you know, you are having that financial problems, but uh, this looks like you're waiting for money to come in. So maybe you're going through a legal battle and you're waiting for some kind of payoff to come in with that six of discs. So that's what you're thinking about. Now going to the future, you've got the tower card. So you're getting over this energy. This tower card is about, um, you know, big changes happening, uh, you know, your secure uh, structure that you built all being, um, you know, completely demolished. It's also, you know, maybe you've had to move house, your whole life has changed, and you're trying to get through this particular energy. So these are endings, and they were very dramatic endings. They were, you know, you've got that uh, 10 of swords, so it's a very dramatic ending ending, being stabbed in the back, being betrayed, and that tower is a lot of anger and that kind of energy coming in, uh, you know, and there were events that you really couldn't control. Now, going into the future, you've got the seven of wands, which says that you need to stand up for yourself. So you're still fighting a lot of problems, a lot of battles. There might be still a lot of arguments that you're going through, and you are uh, having to stand up for yourself. Uh, you know, with this card is finding your back against the wall and having to use all your strength and defend yourself in this particular situation. So you're still dealing with a lot of drama. Now you've got the three of wands over here. So coming in for you uh, is some support. Uh, you've got the sun in Aries over here. So you're taking back your control and back your power. This might be even getting new opportunities coming your way, collaborating with a lot of people, but getting support from other people. You could be getting support from other fire sign people. So you could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, other than yourself, uh, Aries. Uh, so they're giving you that support and uh, giving you new ideas on how to deal with this particular situation. Now, what's in your hopes and fears? Your Eight of Swords, which is talking about feeling very restricted within that particular situation, very limited, and uh, also about people interfering in your business too much. So you need to cut them out uh, and you know make decisions based on what you want to do rather than what everybody else expects you to do. So going into the future, you've got the Cruelty card, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. Now, the Cruelty card is talking about being very anxious. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of a decision, so this is making you very anxious. But you've, you know, gone through a lot. There's tears of blood here. So it's been a very, very heartbreaking situation, and you are very traumatized by whatever happened, and you're trying to deal with that. You've got the Hierophant, so you've got a new perspective in life. Uh, you know, you also need to go and get some advice and some counseling as well uh, with the Hierophant card. So you might need some professional counseling some professional advice, uh, even about money or even about what you're doing, uh, you know, emotionally. This could also be getting that spiritual support that you might be needing as well. So you do need to seek that out. And you've got the two of cups coming in. So things are going to start, uh, you know, getting into a balance over here balancing your emotions. You might need to get that advice or counseling in order for you to balance and, and reset things again. You need to think about it very carefully. This could be a very good friendship coming in. This could be a relationship uh, coming in, but it's so close to whatever happened over here, all the drama that happens that seems to be on the emotional level. You're still getting over it. it this, uh, you know, If it is going to be a lovely relationship, it might be a rebound relationship. On the other hand, it could be just a very, very good soulmate connection where somebody gives you that um, that helping hand and, you know, that advice, uh, that support that you need at this particular moment to get through all this that you've been going through. So going through a lot of drama at the moment, but you do need to stand up for yourself and there is help 
coming in. There's a rescue party there to come and help you out of this very, very difficult situation that you went through. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Pirate's deck. So you've got the Moon card over here, and this is important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes release fears that hold you back. So you are in a very confused state, uh, you know, very unhappy, uh, feeling a bit miserable and feeling a bit depressed. And this card is about, you know, don't trust people around you really because there might be people that are uh, against you and not really, uh, you know, supportive of you. So you've got some hidden enemies going on over there with the moon card and being very, very emotional at this particular moment. Um, you've got the Ace of Air over here, so brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of the situation, a challenging beginning. So, you know, this is about cutting out all that that you've been gone th going through in the past and making a fresh start as well. This is also legal victory, so vic victorious in a legal situation and uh, getting a new insight, getting a new plan on how to do things. And finally, you've got the Queen of Water, which says relationships develop a new level. Uh, trust your intuition and care for yourself uh, you know, rather than others. So you are still crying a little bit about things and maybe this is the reason why you do need to seek some counseling because there's, you know, there's that air of uh, depression going on over here with that Queen of Water. You started off with that Queen of Cups over here, same card. You are a fire sign, so this is completely opposite to your nature, really. You do need to go and get some kind of help, uh, advice, uh, some support uh, you know, from somebody around you. This might be a, you know, maternal figure that you need to get that support. You need to get things off your chest as well. You will be victorious in whatever happens, but, um, you know, you do need that support at this particular moment because you are feeling a bit down, a bit confused, and that support is coming in for you. So there are big changes coming in, uh, but you will be able to get through this, uh, you know, by getting that advice. And, you know, you are waiting for that legal decision. It seems like it's going to be a successful decision. Uh, so try not to be too anxious about things and seek support if you do need it. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.